Oregon Ducks into Tucson, a place they haven't been in a few years. And even with their faithful here, it has not been a great place in the recent past for the Ducks. And the Oregon fans are going to be wildly outnumbered tonight by the Wildcat fans on a sold-out night in Tucson. Knowing the dynamic nature of the Oregon offense. Play action. Bat it down. Trying to get it out of the backfield of Michael Wiley and Noah Sewell right away. There's so much made of Noah Sewell's stats. When you watch him play, his impact is obvious. How about him climbing the ladder? Bam, right through his hands. Could have caught that one. Dynamic athlete playing his best ball under Dan Lanning in the last two games. Four, five up front for Oregon. They try to run and Oregon was there. Wiley got nothing. D.J. Johnson first for the Duck defense. Again, this is this is what Jed Fish had to want by taking the ball to start the games, to score first, get the crowd going, first and goal. No, destructive turnover, and Oregon's D.J. Johnson on the recovery. Quickly break from the huddle, and it's like they're not set right. And all of a sudden, he snaps it, and the timing's off, something we've never seen through five games from Jacob Cowing when he's been in motion with his quarterback, Jane Delora. Back with Tosh LaPointe last night, the Oregon DC. And what did he say? We want to take advantage of the turnover margin. Eric so Nick's to work. Gets Franklin out in motion. Gets four, maybe five. Look, they're good enough to win a bunch of games, but not good enough to overcome those types of turnovers. There's a first down run for Bucky Irving. So charged to be back, but right now third down. Cats rush four, no pressure, but the stop is short. So Troy Franklin curled short of the stick. Williams on the run, oh, and he got smothered there, swallowed up by Justin Flo back tonight for the Ducks. Good to see him back. Look at his eyes. He's so intense. Nice block. Big short third down play. Get it outside. Can Singer get around? No. They were hoping for the block from the tight end. Burnett didn't get it. Tremendous fight through by Dante Manning. And that's going to force Arizona now to bring out the field goal team. Dante Manning immediately goes to the outside. And to me, that's on Singer. You got to know the corner is going to force everything back inside. You got to be patient with that a little bit in the situation. Yeah. First down, Oregon. This is what the Ducks, remember, they lost Travis Dye, okay? They lost Travis Dye, 3,000 yards, and they still lead the conference in Russia because they've imported guys like Bucky Irving. Yeah, Arizona's got to fill those gaps. Noah Whittington now the back picks up the blocker, Hunter Eccles. Well, there's the value of a running back. Whittington on the carry, nice cutback, two of them, and he may be gone. Foot race, and Whittington wins, touchdown Ducks, 55 yards. Ted, watch Colby Cage, number 11, he'll come right into the middle of the screen as they run this ball. Right there, boom, and it's the cut from Whittington. That right foot in the ground, Cage overruns it, and it's a house call for another transfer back. What a fabulous first move there by Whittington. Western Kentucky was his starting spot. He saw what happened to the Huskies uh, up by 10 in Tempe this afternoon. Nix keeps. Nix gets outside and Nix gets all the way out close to the 20. Boy, a dart there, thrown by Nix to Chase Coda. Second and short. This is where they've lived ever since that Georgia game. It's that quick throw to Dollars, who bounced it outside at the right moment there and gets the first down yardage. Second and short, again, this is where Oregon has found so much success. Another first down. And they give it to Whittington. Boy, another nice cut right at the moment. 
Took advantage of the hole into the secondary. Roland Wallace finally tackles inside the Arizona 45. Check out Jackson Powers Johnson, the right guard. They're going to rotate a right guard. He and Ryan walk. Look at that, Ted. That, that's perfect. Watch his feet. It's like he's playing basketball, just moving him anywhere he wanted. Here it is, throwing off play action. Deep shot, and that's caught inside the five. It'll be down short of the goal line. Chris Hudson. And Oregon's going to race up here and try to score quickly. Oregon knows this play already. They practice like this. After explosive, go to this automatic. And Nix finishes the deal. Touchdown, Oregon. Couldn't beat Utah. That'll be the story here if Arizona can't score. And right, look at that. DJ on DJ. Johnson drops Williams. <laughs> hey, DJ Johnson, watch him standing up. He doesn't get blocked. He doesn't get blocked, just finds his way into the backfield. And here he is in man to man coverage at the bottom. Third down with DJ Williams alongside Delora. He's your check down. Delora is in trouble. And he's down, couldn't get away. Jeffrey Bassa with the sack. Well, it's all about keeping Jane Delora in the pocket. You see the twists up front. There's so much habit going on in front of Jane Delora. Can't really set his feet. And then all of a sudden, Bassa's in the backfield all over Delora's feet. Yeah. Our entire Pac-12 network team on this lovely night in Tucson. Sold out house, so much great vibe around Arizona. The hope they could make a big statement tonight. The Ducks are winning the first half, as you can tell. This is second down and short. And look at that throw to the sideline. What a throw by Nix right into Chase Cota. Well, that's exactly how you do it, huh? Against Trayton Stukes, man-to-man -man coverage. Patient at the line of scrimmage, and he allows the quarterback to have room on the sideline. From the empty Nix right away to the far side. And look at Irving with a little stiff arm action to tack on yards. Yep. Against Jackson Turner, yep. watch that right arm. That's called one-arm dumbbell press. Whew. That's called giving the Heisman. Yeah. Look at this running back core coming out west. It's been fun watching them thrive. Hudson. And Hudson down near the 10 before Stukes drops him. It'll be first and goal for Oregon. There you go, right to him. Well, he's not going to get Dan Landing's fantasy team any points yet. Ted, this is the jumbo package. Yep. Jordan James, the deep back. And there is a touchdown. Moldeke Montebau. They call this personnel grouping 14J because 76 on the edge. Right there, that's Josh Connerly. Didn't have to do much on that play, the true freshman O-lineman. You know they're going to feel that way. I think we all know. Can the Ducks cash in here near the end of the half? Right away to Ferguson for a first down play. Here comes an extra man, but Nix has plenty of time and delivers it to Franklin. Well, they, well, they fake the gun run, whip it out to seven McGee, and he's bumped down. Here, just inside the 30. See the communication again. Nix and Winnington. Up again, Nix pulls the ball back. Nix pulls away. Nix is in elastic band as he gets it down inside the 20. Nike doesn't rip very often, but this one does. Paris Shan, 95. Watch that left arm. He's hanging, he's hanging. It rips, and Bo Nix does the rest. Gets away from Gunnar Maldonado. Stops the clock out of bounds. Out of the big heavy set, James gets the carry. The big bodied short yardage back, and he bangs it down to the eight, where it will be first and goal. Here, first and goal, Ducks. James again. And James, oh, that's a nice tackle. Well, he was going to lower his shoulder and try to literally bull his way in. But... And again, it's James, and he's in. 
one guy, Cage, had a shot at him, but James strong enough to fight through it and score. Arizona, they get penetration, Ted, they get penetration, but then there's the pullers we talked about. The athleticism on that offensive line. Jackson Powers Johnson, Patrick Herbert and company. All right, Camden Lewis boots it through. First down run there only gets three. Again, next throws it with five rushing, so Chase Coda on the cross, and it's all the way to midfield. Another direct throw dart, and look at the yards after catch. And Nick's going to keep it. And look at Nick's again. Bo Nix continues to damage opponents with his legs. 11 there on third and 10. Well, they teach quarterbacks, everybody teaches quarterbacks, can you steal a pump? No matter if you cross the line of scrimmage or not. When you first and five now. So the gun run to Whittington, and he just slices the middle and drives it down inside the five. And there's the push for Nix to get him in. So Bo Nix with the keeper scores the touchdown. So Lewis out for the extra point on the fifth Oregon touchdown. Two of them, Bo Nix on the ground. Been around the pack before. Wow, that one tipped and then intercepted. So inside the 40, and it's Jalil Florence. Terrific, a Tucson native. His daughter's school here, so he's part of the parents' family weekend, which we found out Matt Ensor came by to tell us at that time. They're actually separate. Next firing again, just quickly out to seven McGee, and he's inside the Arizona 25. So they'll run it with Irving, and Irving's going, and Irving's home. Touchdown, Oregon. 23 yards. He was excited. We talked to him before the game. Uh, he's watching, but and that's where this team, they know they need to continue to evolve defense. But man, this is an impressive play. You'll see on the outside right here. How about the bind that you just get put in with Bo Nix? That's Jaden Young. When Bo Nix is a threat with his legs, said you got to respect it. And when you give so much space, it's an easy read for him. Hands it off to Bucky Irving, untouched. Yeah, well, there, Jed Fish grew up playing a lot of tennis in New Jersey. Look at the pressure. Stellar smothered. Had nowhere to go. Ball's out. Ball's live. Ball belongs to Oregon. Delore was absolutely crushed there. He had no chance. And eventually, Keon Ware Hudson recovers the ball. Ted, this is everybody making a play. You'll see on the right side of the screen, in comes Bennett Williams, number four. And you'll watch oh, his wow. hand. Just swipe at the ball. Watch Brandon Dorless. He swipes it forward a little bit, trying to get a hand on it. And there goes the big fella, Ware Hudson, cleaning it up. Well, I, I'm not an expert on this sort of stuff, Yogi, but all I know is that Brandon Dorless was not touched by anybody right up the middle. That's yeah. a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's, something got messed up there. And Bennett Williams wasn't touched by anybody coming yeah. off the edge. Yeah. So, Delore, you feel bad for him because he had no chance there, and that was just a breakdown. And now Nick's going to run outside. And... Seven McGee slips and falls. Well, once we get past that game next week, yeah. the CFP conversation yeah. comes into effect to your point. And that's why. Look at that. Touchdown of the night, untouched. Twenty-five yards. Somebody call Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Well, somebody also Man. call Alex Forsythe and say, "Hey, nice job. Watch him pulling. Everybody else pulled. Now I want to pull too." Ryan Walk, this offensive line. T.J. Wow. Bass, get a little something. <laughs> and Bo Nix is boom past everybody. You know, sometimes when coaches leave, there it isn't always with great feeling. And Mario Cristobal went back to his home. 
but he left a legacy behind. We, Incremental growth yep. has been a theme since he got the job. Coleman outside, boy, look at that. Definition of tackling in space, hello. Excellent by Bennett Williams. He's been that tonight. He's been that the last few games. All right, Delora did a good job of getting rid of that because Dorless was about to crush him. Coleman trying to reverse, and he's not going to get there. And that's Braden Swinson, who was all over him. Talk about a team that really needs a win, boy, to Stanford. I can smell the chance to get one tonight. So meanwhile, Ty Thompson to work here. Sean Dollars on the receiving end. There's Ty Thompson's had a couple of uh, actions, picking up Knicks after some wins here from. Yeah. I mean, last year when these teams played, McLeod quarterback for Arizona, I'm told he's not here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. And Delora comes outside again, and boy, there's the great tackle in space by Florence. Florence taking advantage of his chance to play. Right, your center and your quarterback, when you have that, and he's such a threat with his legs. It's just dangerous, right? They're going to force every team to defend sideline to sideline. And I think that's what we've seen with this offense. They've continued success from last year to now under this new staff. There is a pass as Kyler Casper getting the catch. We're told he would get some run tonight, another Arizonan. This is a challenge, but they're seasoned in that regard. We've seen him come out. Boy, James. Spinning that into Arizona territory. The Ducks are pushing three, close to 300 on the ground now. And I can't repeat it enough. It's after Travis Dye left. <laughs> well, they're over 300 now. James well down into Arizona territory. So the Ducks doing a great job of literally running out the clock. Yeah, well, again, they continue to move. How about Patrick Herbert, 88 there at tight end. Coming back from left to right and all that misdirection. But this in terms of taking away the strengths and Absolutely. imposing your strengths for Dan Landing, this team is coming together like they are a legit threat to get back to Vegas to win this league and make noise around the country. Bo Nix, and what a uh, five game run. Tonight, 20 of 25 for 265 and three rush touchdowns. Workman like. You saw explosiveness. You saw things we've seen on tape. You saw sure tackling. And they had to stop one of the most explosive offenses in the country.